something is happening to your soil. Take a palaka posca diaba and break and take a pusco de prendegade. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost. Shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Everything that was lost. And everything that was stolen. Now hear me. Please listen carefully. Don't be distracted. As I walked into this place. I was hearing the sounds of chains. That was what I was hearing. Chains that have held families down. Chains that have held many for many generations. I'm about to release you by the Spirit. Now hear me. At the count of three. If God be God. As you shout Jesus. Every altar over an umbra, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. And the prophetic. By ancestry and inheritance. And witchcraft. For the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit And it says where the spirit of the Lord is There is liberty Are you ready to shout? At the count of three Bring them out One, two, three Shout Jesus I command those altars Release them now Release their destiny now Yes, be broken Bars of iron be broken, gates be broken, bars of iron be broken. Gates be broken, bars of iron be broken, patterns of darkness be broken. Lord, you took my shame away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything You know it now Oh man, my Hallelujah. Who is Shidos here? I'm hearing a name, Shidos here. Is there someone with that name? We have to hurry up tonight. Who is Shidos here? I'm hearing. I presume there might be many people. You are wearing a yellow like a t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Like a yellow, is it a t-shirt or something of that sort? She does here. Is there someone like that?
Don't worry, allow the chilos to come, but there is a particular one I'm seeing. You are wearing like a yellow t-shirt. God wants to turn your life around. What do you do, my friend? Do we have another mic? Please help us. Let's make it ready. Onyeka, whose name is Onyeka? I'm hearing the name Onyeka. The season is about to open to you. Onyeka. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm seeing a male in my vision. Please make sure you don't just come out at random. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere, but my friend, there is a name that is above every other name. And God wants to bring visitation for you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There is a lady who will shout loud in the congregation to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that lady here now. Right now, as I'm speaking. A loud shout. Father, I pray for you. I will just pray for all of you in general. There's a lot for us to do. In the name of Jesus, you don't have to kneel. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. There's one of you, the mighty power of God is coming on you now. One of you in front here. And the Lord is telling me after that encounter, then I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may your life never be the same. I release you. The miracles and the blessings allotted for your various families. In the name of Jesus, step into it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name I pray. The Lord is showing me a woman. We will be praying for the sick shortly. But the Lord is showing me a woman. One, two, three, four, five years. Exactly five years. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Your story is about to change. Please come quickly. Let's save time. Mm. Please don't come out at random. There's order in the house of God. Make sure that you understand what we're saying. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? Who is with the mic? Please teach the people what to do so that... Hold on. Madam, look at me. This woman. Shout Jesus. Out of her now. The name of Jesus. What happened to you, my friend? You are from Anambra here? Yes, sir. How long? Last year. June 2nd, last year. What happened to your leg? I had asked that. Is it a fracture? That's what I'm asking. No, not the fracture. I have a, a stroke after the other day I asked you. Do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. This is witchcraft. Lift the rod. Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your... Lift it up. Walk. 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 Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. I rebuke that stroke. Are you celebrating Jesus here? Hallelujah. Now, these women here, please place your hand. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Listen, this is not just the display of the anointing on a man. This is Jesus Christ visiting a territory to glorify his son. Are we together? 
Now I'm standing God bless you sir This healing this Because I'm looking at you It was not just an accident In the vision I'm seeing you lying down on a bed Completely half of you Has gone paralyzed This is what the devil wanted to bring But God has brought your deliverance now God bless you sir Now I want to pray for all of you Please look at me I don't care what the medical report is You see every challenge is at the mercy Of the kind of grace that confronts it Challenges are not generic They depend on what grace confronts it I decree and declare Most of you This demonic thing called delay Is witchcraft By the power that raised Christ from the dead Right now I release you now Release them now In the name of Jesus Help them I lose you now, now, be loose now, be loose now, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, return with your miracle children, let there be a correction of everything that is wrong biologically, a correction right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. It is over in the name of Jesus That nine months from now You will return with miracle children To the glory of the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ God bless you The Lord is revealing something to me That I need to pray for you can go back to your seats for this once. I want to pray for you and I want you to bring those people out. There is a spirit that is at work in families. Where it is the women that take care of the men. No matter how responsible, no matter how supposedly productive. Something seems to happen that brings the men down. The power of God is resting. I'm seeing at least eight people right now. Bring them out. I decree and declare. In the name that is above all names By that The power that raised Christ from the dead I cast that spirit now I'm not, No, 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 no I'm not saying come out at random Listen, understand what happens When I mention a case like this The very power of God will locate you And then if I do ask to come out You bring them out So that we don't make this place rowdy That's alright, just leave them since they are already out Madam, look at me This woman, stand up What's your name? Huh? I want to pray for you You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit The Lord is setting you free From everything that represents witchcraft I stretch my hands towards you This out of her now in the name of Jesus Help her please Help her Just hold her so we don't just, just hold and keep her in one place. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord is showing me people here whose families have been stagnated in one position. You love Jesus. You are sincere people. Some of you are even ministers of the gospel. There is somebody who is bearing the same name with Dr. Cosmas. Your name too is Cosmas. Come. Come out. I just saw that in a vision. That your name, just like this man. Please make sure you don't tell lies. If there is that person here, let me see that person. I want to pray with you. The Lord just ministered to me that there is someone that has that name. And if it happens to be your loved one also, I don't know how we're going to do it now, but I need to pray and respond very quickly. Your name is also Cosmas. God wants to pray for you. And then I'm hearing, who is Vivian? Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. I want to pray a general prayer. But there are three people who will shout right now under the anointing. The Lord is taking away the spirit of death from their family. Right now. This is, this is what I saw in my vision. Please help them. Bring them out. Bring them out. The spirit of death. 
Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Everyone here as an individual or as a family under the siege of death, patterns of death. Every year, every two, two years, someone must die by the power of Patakos. In the name of Jesus, I set those altars on fire now. On fire now. Who is Vivienne? All of you? Who is from Imo State? Imo State. Where are you from? Imo State. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you, but I want to pray for you. Because where are your loved ones? Your family members? I want to pray for you. So that somebody, I'm seeing somebody from Imo to Port Harcourt having a ghastly motor accident. A car turning over and they are saying survive by. But who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. That, that demonic thing that the devil is scheming by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare your complete deliverance. And for all of you who have come out by the Spirit, my friend, what do you do? Huh? I'm a public servant. I also have a car shop. Look at me. Go and register a company. There is a strange grace for wealth that God is going to bring on you. Hear what I'm telling you. Look at me. Do you believe in the prophetic? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Receive that grace right now. I launch you, I release you into that dimension of grace, even by the Spirit of God. And for all of you who are standing here, I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you and open up new chapters of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive that grace right now. Hallelujah. Please return back to your seat. Now hear me. I'm going to pray a very strange prayer now. And when you pick those people, I want them in front here. There are people, I'm seeing an eagle. There are people called into a strange order of the prophetic. The end time prophetic ministry. Some of you may not even know. I'm about to pray. That grace and that mantle is about to rest upon you. Please help them. Help them so they don't do careless things. Please. Oh, my friend, what is your name? What do you do? I'm a student. Come and stand here. I want to pray for you. There is a very strange grace that you will carry. But look at me. Be careful with association. Right? Love people who are believers and be very serious. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus. Even as God has helped your father, may God help you and lift you to become a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring those people here. I decree and declare right now. Everyone anointed to be in the prophetic I decree and declare may that man to wherever you are from the front to the back from my left to my right young and old step into that anointing now step into that anointing now step into that anointing now the eyes that see the ears that hear I ignite your spirit man near the sights and the sounds of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. A new season. A new season.
season for your Christian experience, a new season for your prophetic encounters. The Lord will raise you, mighty men over an umbra, mighty men like the men of David, men of fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me, please look up. Please everyone, let me have your attention. I want to tell you something very prophetic right now. There are three groups of people God is raising over Anambra State in this season. Write it down and listen carefully. Number one, there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors. Hear me, as I'm mentioning it, that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension. Prophetic intercessors, there will be women of fire, women who understand the art of the altar. Hear me, many women intercessory group will arise by the spirit. Women who will pray revival. Men will be affected, but there will be many women, daughters of Zion, Makabras Katabakata, Ebrekatekata. I ignite your spirit, man. I connect you with the mantle of the intercessor. Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a prince. That is number one. The mantle of the intercessor is resting upon Anambra. Men and women. You will see people who understand how to pray strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of God to bear. Some of you may be weak, but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration. Intense consecration. No more distraction. Intense consecration. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that thought easily beset us. And it says to run with perseverance the race set before us. May you endure the consecration of an intercessor. May you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of God like Anna the prophetess, like Simeon the prophet. Number two, the second group of people that God is raising, hear me please, in a very strange way, there are two unique ministries that God is um, I would not say bringing it for the first time, but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra State. Number one is the ministry of evangelism. Number two is the ministry of the teacher. These two ministries, this is what God revealed to me. He's restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power. Most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment. But there are people anointed. Oh God, pack the crusade grounds again. Oh God, pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land. Where are the revivalists? May that man to rest upon you. May that man to rest upon you. Rest upon your campuses. Rest upon the entire local government that make up an Ambra state. Strange evangelism with power, with signs and with wonders. Hear me. I'm not announcing this so that you will just sweep it under the carpet. It's what the Spirit of God wants to do. I had a little nap this afternoon. Please look up. I had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session. And 
I saw a very strange vision. This is what I saw. I saw like a river. And then I saw a strange spirit just came out of the river. It's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time. And it made people to practice certain things. And maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away. But I saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again. And the Lord told me that I should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining called groups and associations because of wealth that there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what I saw father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ I prophesy to the length and the breadth of an umbra faith we speak lift up your head For the King of Glory is making a triumphant entry over a number of things. Therefore, we prophesy, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, over the land of a number of things. Maranatha, upon the campuses. Maranatha, upon the churches. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace. I repeat, the teaching grace. Hear me. The only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine. If believers do not have a platform, regardless the church, where the precepts of the kingdom are methodically communicated, there will be a bankruptcy of growth within that territory. According to Jeremiah 3.15, And I will give you pastors that are according to my heart, and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge. Therefore, I'm praying right now, some of you are men of God Some of you may seem like ordinary individuals Lord where are those Who you will open their eyes To the spirit of revelation Access to the mysteries of the kingdom The grace of a teacher Some of you are heading Fellowship groups Some of you are pastors already You have struggled with communicating Doctrine I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding. A new dimension of spiritual understanding. Churches, youth groups, apostolic and prophetic platforms, prayer groups, step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen very carefully I want to give you the third I told you the first kind of people that God is raising Are prophetic intercessors The second They are ministers But two ministries particularly The evangelistic And the revelatory grace Number three in a very strange way God is raising end time financial apostles That was why God brought Dr. Cosmas Many of you may That's why I told you that what he was doing Was not an interruption to the program When I sat there I said this man is truly a spiritual man He was not just shaking you it was an extension of something the Bible calls the hand of fellowship. There are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling. You are brought into it by those who carry the grace. Now I want to pray for you. There are many men and women here. You came for this meeting. Listen, listen. When we talk about the issue of finances, 
I can assure you on time that many people have disappointed God. It's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say, Lord, empower me. Do you know what it means to be a billionaire? And yet still love the Lord. When I saw the man of God rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing, I said, how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before Jesus? When David began to dance at the return of the ark, Saul's daughter looked at him and said, Why are you dancing undignifiably? You are bringing shame to your status. His reply, I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me. God had that query and she died a barren woman. Hear me? God is not looking for materialistic people. God is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and earn respect. No. God is looking for men and women who he will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time. Men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust. I want to release that grace. Oh. Mm-hmm.